सुनाई देता है नॉर्मली सपोज वी हैव ए साउंड सोर्स ऑफ सम पर्टिकुलर फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड वी हियर इट इफ द सोर्स इज मूविंग इफ द सोर्स स्टार्ट्स मूविंग और द ऑब्जर्वर स्टार्ट्स मूविंग देन द ऑब्जर्व फ्रीक्वेंसी इज डिफरेंट देन द ओरिजिनल वन और द एमिटेड वन तो दिस इज कॉल्ड डॉपलर इफेक्ट तो व्हाट इज डॉपलर इफेक्ट द अपेरेंट फ्रीक्वेंसी और ऑब्जर्व फ्रीक्वेंसी इज डिफरेंट देन द एमिटेड फ्रीक्वेंसी ड्यू टू द मूवमेंट ऑफ और मोशन ऑफ द सोर्स और ऑब्जर्वर ठीक है इसका मतलब इफ इट इफ ए ट्रेन इज कमिंग टू वर्ड्स यू यू आर एन ए प्लेटफॉर्म ट्रेन इज कमिंग टू वर्ड्स यू एंड द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ द विसिल एमिटेड बाई द ट्रेन इज सपोज वन थाउजेंड देन यू मे हियर द हायर फ्रीक्वेंसी ठीक है सो दैट इज ड्यू टू डॉपलर इफेक्ट तो वॉट इज डॉपलर इफेक्ट लिख लो वॉट इज डॉपलर इफेक्ट change in observed frequency as compared to emitted frequency due to motion of due to motion of मूवमेंट ऑफ ऑब्जर्वर एंड वी विल ट्राई टू सी वॉट इज देंट फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड ऑब्जर्व पेरेंट फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड एमिटेड फ्रीक्वेंसी वॉट इज द रिलेशन so first we will see uh, source stationary and observer moving theek okay, hai source is stationary and observer is moving theek okay. hai so suppose this is the source and this is the observer and first we consider one dimensional and in one dimension we have two options like if the observer is moving towards source or moving away from source so first we will consider the observer is moving towards source this is case 1 of source observer moving towards source okay okay now we have to consider first different notations first we will write v is speed of sound v s is source source of velocity of source in this case that will be zero in this particular case <coughs> vs will be zero because source is stationary velocity of observer vo velocity of observer consider the changed one then we will use symbol dash
changed wavelength and changed frequency so these are the notations we are going to use okay so first thing we will see this case of zero moving towards the source and source is stationary so if we consider the source emits signal like this Okay, the source is emitting signal like this, and this person is moving towards the source with velocity v naught. Okay, if this person is also stationary, then what frequency he will hear? This new, the emitted frequency. Suppose emitted frequency is new. So what he will hear? New. If he is stationary. Now, if he starts moving, then. in one second whatever distance he will cover in one second whatever distance he will cover the number of oscillations corresponding to that distance will also be added with this frequency are you getting suppose in one second this person moves by some distance so how much distance it will move in one second the speed is v not so how much it will move in one second v not so the frequency the new frequency will be the original one which he would have received without movement plus the extra oscillations in this distance so in which distance in distance v not in one second he travels this much distance divided by in one oscillation how much is the length the lambda so how many oscillations will be there total in v not we can divide v not by lambda Are you getting? It travels a distance v not in one second and divide it by the distance taken or distance used for one oscillation. So for one oscillation means one wavelength. So divide v not with lambda. So you are getting this thing. And one more thing to notice here is lambda is not going to change because whatever is emitted from here that will remain in the medium. medium the way chiraga lambda is not going to change in this case you know we will see other cases when lambda changes but in this case lambda is not going to change okay now we will write uh, in terms of new and uh, v not lambda in terms of frequency lambda in terms of frequency speed of sound divided by frequency Speed of sound divided by frequency. If you take new common, you can write like this. so. This is the formula. And wavelength remains same. Is unchanged. Okay, one thing you have to notice here is all these velocities which are given. These are with respect to what? Velocity is not an absolute quantity. Velocity is relative thing. So these velocities are with respect to what? Eh? Ground. अगर कहीं ground नहीं है तो पानी के अंदर experiment किया था. this is with respect to medium whether it is air or water if you are doing experiment in water then it is with respect to water if you are doing air that is with respect to air and air is generally stationary with respect to ground so you can say with respect to ground but the exact word is with respect to medium these velocities are with respect to medium okay medium ke respect mein sara calculation hai okay okay so copy it now second case case b we will see 
that observer is moving away from source. Away from observer is moving away from source. So in this case what will happen? Whatever frequency he should have heard, he will hear some less frequency. Why? Because he moved in the opposite direction. So instead of plus sign here we will have minus sign. So we will have this. And if we combine it, we write like this. together we can write. One is uh, if you move towards the source, frequency should increase. So plus sign. If you move away from the source, frequency should decrease. So minus sign. Is it clear? And now we will solve one small question from this. If the, write the question. बगल से पास कर गया मानो ठीक है देन व्हाट इज फ्रीक्वेंसी वाइल अप्रोचिंग द ट्यूनिंग फॉक एंड वाइल मूविंग अवे फ्रॉम ट्यूनिंग फॉक व्हाट इज द फ्रीक्वेंसी वाइल अप्रोचिंग द ट्यूनिंग फॉक एंड वाइल मूविंग अवे फ्रॉम ट्यूनिंग फॉक द स्पीड ऑफ साउंड इज 330 मीटर पर सेकंड speed of sound is given that is 330 meter per second speed of running is 10 meter per second okay, running speed is 10 meter per second okay, running speed is 10 meter per second next we will see the source moving and observer stationary. Source has also moved by some distance. So the wavelength 
in the medium is has changed and it will change how much it will change this we can find change the speed is Vs and for one oscillation how much time will be there the time period T so can we write this gap as Vs into time period and if original wavelength was lambda the new wavelength will be equal to what lambda minus V0 T this is the new wavelength so what does it mean? It means with, when source moves, the wavelength changes. Are you getting? And once this wavelength has reached to the medium, now it is free from the source. Once a wave is dissociated from the source, it is now in the medium. Now after it, came, it has come to medium, it will move with normal velocity, whatever speed of sound is there. So, if you convert it into frequency, this can be converted into what? The equivalent frequency for this one will be what? V by, v by nu naught. Nu naught, the observed frequency corresponding. And this will be V by nu, the original one. And this is V naught and this is T is 1 by nu. So we can write like this. And new dash will be what? New V by V minus V now. We can write like this. We can write like this. Okay? Dekho kya hua? If source is moving towards the observer, it it will result into the changed wavelength in this direction. Change means decreased wavelength. And decreased wavelength means increased apparent frequency. Actually this frequency is now in the medium itself. So whoever will come in this path, he will hear the increased frequency. Okay? Yeah, frequency is Sorry, yes. S This is for source. Similarly, if source is moving away from the observer, then what we should write? If source is moving away from the observer, then wavelength will increase. And wavelength will increase and then formula will be what? B part if you write. This is A part. Source.
and accordingly the wavelength will change and you will write the wavelength changes in this case okay the wavelength changes write about it the wavelength changes when the source is moving wavelength changes when the source is moving and how to memorize it very simple if source is moving then changes are in denominator if observer is moving changes are in numerator and for both the cases observer and source if they are coming closer <coughs> then frequency apparent frequency will be more and if they are moving away then apparent frequency will be less okay so in since it is in denominator if they are coming closer you have to use minus sign ठीक है तो अगर एक साथ लिखा जाए तो वो ऐसे लिख सकते ऑब्जर्वर एंड सोर्स कंबाइंड इफ बोथ आर मूविंग इफ बोथ आर मूविंग इफ सोर्स एंड ऑब्जर्वर both are moving then we will write like this theek okay? hai and the best example for source moving is what if we are standing on a platform suppose a train crosses through the platform then while approaching the platform we will hear some higher frequency and when the train moves away from the platform we hear a lower frequency so that also we can find so we will solve one more question based on this write the question a train moving at speed 30 meter per second a train moving at speed 30 meter per second is passes through a platform Variable. 
So what will be its impact on the observer sitting at some distance? Or if a source is moving in circular motion, okay? So किस तरह से उसका impact होगा? ये सब देखेंगे। ये बहुत तरह questions पे बनते हैं। So these are the basics. So first we will solve questions based on these basics.